How you doing everybody? I got the solo stove campfire in front of me. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know I've been touting this as the tactical campfire. Um, it does have some features for a wood burning stove that give it a tactical advantage over some other wood burning systems like a regular campfire or um, some fire boxes and stuff like that. Um, but we also took it up to the Sawtooth Mountains where I actually used it the entire weekend, but I used it to make some bison chili, which was delicious and it was a lot of fun. And it allowed me to use the two pot set that you could get from Solo Stove as well as the tripod system that you could get from them. Um, and it, it worked out great. I'll show you guys that a little bit later, but right now let's get into the review. So to start off, we'll talk about a couple of specs on the Solo Stove Campfire. They have three different sizes of stoves. They have the light, which is their smallest one. They have the Titan, which is the medium size. And then they have the Campfire, which is this big guy. Um, and then they also have one called the Bonfire, which is like a big fire pit with the same design. Um, it looks super awesome. I'm hoping to get one of those to review. But the specs on the Campfire, um, they say this is designed to cook for four or more people. It's wood burning. You can use sticks, twigs, pine cones, or any other biomass that you could find around that's gonna burn. It has low smoke, um, which kind of falls into the um, tactical advantage. Because of its double wall design, the Solo Stove Campfire is a natural convection, inverted down gas, gasifier stove. Pretty much all that means is, you see these little holes at the bottom? They pull oxygen in from the bottom, they heat it up on its way up, and it will come out of these holes on the inside and then that will give it its secondary combustion. For the amount of wood you put in here and for the size of it, this thing cooks. It gets really hot. Um, it's excellent to sit around if you don't have a regular campfire and you just want something for heat. Um, they say it's made out of 304 stainless steel, which I'm gonna be totally honest with you, that really meant nothing to me. Um, apparently it's a food grade stainless steel, it's awesome. But what I noticed is when I saw pictures and other videos it just looked like something I could press my thumb into and maybe make a little dent in it. But I actually, you cannot dent this thing. This thing is super solid, um, really strong, and it's only about two pounds, which is actually really light for how solid this thing really is. So some of the features that will give this a tactical advantage, we already talked about the low smoke this has because it's essentially burning off the smoke. One of the other things I would say that gives this a tactical advantage is the fact that it doesn't leave much of a trace. I'll show you guys right here. When you're done with your fire, it burns up so much of your biomass that it just leaves you with a little bit of ash. Um, you'll see some black pieces in there and those are actually pieces that were highly saturated in um, sap. But um, even then, it doesn't leave a big mess. If you're to dig a hole and then dump this in there, bury it back up, you really aren't leaving much of a trace. Of course, when you do that, you do want to make sure it is completely burnt out and cool to the touch. Going back to the design, it has really high heat, so it's efficient. Um, it burns the wood completely, utilizing all the fuel that you give it while giving you a lot of heat. So it works really well. I did use this to boil water, but I'm not going to give you guys boil times because that can vary with many different things. But it did boil water very fast for a wood burning stove, and it kept us really warm when four of us had to sit around it. Another cool feature is that it's packable. The top part that you use to actually cook with pots and pans flips over and tucks into itself and then it comes with a drawstring bag that you can put it in. And that's how compact that goes down. And if you buy it with the two pot set, it will actually sit inside Put the big pot in its drawstring bag first. With the big pot in, then you put the solo stove campfire. And you take the little pot, and you're gonna put this in upside down. Once that's in there, then you take both lids, stick together, they go right on top, draw that down. And so this is the Solo Stove Campfire inside of a three liter pot with a one and a half liter pan. This is a lot in one little package right here and it's really handy, easy to pack. Uh, it's a simple design. There really isn't a whole lot of maintenance other than dumping it out. Um, it does get a little sooty as you can see right here. 
If you want to wash it off, you could do that. It's not that hard to wash it off. Other than that, there really isn't any maintenance. Now, some of the advantages you get from using a tripod um, in a system like this is um, heat control. Uh, this tripod from Solo Stove um, is packable and has an adjustable chain that allows you to uh, raise or lower your pot depending on how close you want it to the fire. So these are the feet broken down. Um, they're either going to have a female end or a male end and the bottom pieces are going to have a male end with a little pointed foot at the bottom. That's how you know that's going to be the bottom. Um, there's four pieces per leg and I'm not going to screw them all together but once you have them screwed together they screw into this top piece where they screw in a little bit at an angle and this top piece contains the um, adjustable chain that you can lift up and down and as that works this little guy sticks into the chain to hold it at whatever height you want another advantage to using a tripod it allows you to use larger pieces of wood um, because you're not setting it right on top of this cooking surface and by using larger pieces of wood, you're able to have longer burn times without having to refuel it as much. So that was pretty helpful when I was cooking the chili. The tripod is made out of aluminum, which keeps the weight down to 19 ounces. And it does pack down nicely with the drawstring pouch that it comes with. The two pot set it came with, this is a three liter pot. And the little pan is a one and a half liter pan, I believe. Uh, they both have handles that extend out. They both come with their own lid. And the lids also have little handles with tabs that lock them in from falling. And they have little silicone sleeves on them. The three liter pot has pretty much the same handles, but it does have the bail on it, which makes it really nice. The bail has three different locks where it will kind of hold its place, as you guys can see right there. And I like this little notch right here for the tripod system or for any type of hook system that you're gonna hang this on. It keeps it from um, rocking to either side. If you got water in there or some sort of liquid, it's very possible that it could slide to one side. It's a little scary when that happens. So now let's take a look at the bison chili we made up in the Sawtooth Mountains using the Solo Stove Campfire, the tripod, and the two pot set. So the recipe for the chili, we did get off of a website and um, it was delicious. So I'm gonna put a link down in the description box for you guys to get that recipe if you guys want to. Uh, we did substitute uh, the beef for bison. Uh, that was simply our preference. And it was a delicious change that we made. So we started off by getting the solo stove campfire started and I used a, a fire starter called the Mini Inferno All Weather Fire. Um, it's essentially like a wax covered cotton pad. Um, it worked great. It looked like a Dorito. I wanted to eat it, but I didn't. It worked awesome for starting fire. And we began cooking by adding the vegetables and browning those up, throwing the seasoning in. Um, while I was doing that, I actually had my father-in-law cook up the, the bison because you wanted to add in your meat um, already cooked. So he was dealing with that. And um, by the time I got the vegetables all browned up, the bison was ready. So we threw that in. And then we were able to add the kidney beans, the tomato, the tomato paste. And uh, the website we found actually suggests adding a beer to your chili um, and since we cut ours in half we added half a beer and then we let it simmer for about 45 minutes chili turned out great these pans made it super easy to clean up afterwards the high polish that solo stove puts inside these pots and pans makes it super easy to clean up everything just rinsed right out super nice i really appreciate that i really enjoyed using these pots they're super solid it's the same construction as the solo stove campfire it's the same steel that's used um, they're very durable and everything just worked out really well. I don't really have anything bad to say about this other than starting a wood fire can be a little bit trickier than say a gas stove, <laughs> but this entire system guys is awesome. I'm going to be bringing this on every camping trip I have from now on. Um, I may even bring it backpacking, which obviously they make their solo stove light and solo stove Titan for that reason, which I hope to get my hands on eventually. Um, as well as the Solo Stove Bonfire, which is really cool, the big fire pit that they have. Um, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, I'm going to have links down in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope you enjoyed the chili. If you guys have any outdoor friends that are into adventuring, uh, be sure to share this video with them. Subscribe to the channel if you guys like to see this kind of stuff. There will be more outdoor stuff coming to this channel. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time.